Now, the next stage was to, uh, was to produce them or get a sample made. So I got some made in aluminium, they came through. And then I also sent a pair to uh, the f one of my frame producers and had them fit them to a frame and then run the frame through pedal fatigue testing to see how long the aluminium ones lasted. And they came really, really close uh, to completing the whole uh, pedal fatigue test. However, they did break at the end. So that then really solidified my uh, material preference and choice going forward to, uh, to get them, come on a look over here, to get them produced in titanium. Now these are genuinely lifetime goods now. There's the, you're, you're not gonna break these. So they are more costly, obviously, uh, to produce because they're made of titanium. The whole lot is all titanium. So even the little finger wheel, everything, I just went for the whole lot being in titanium. But they are incredibly beautiful and I feel very, very proud of them. The first thing you wanna address is obviously fitting your, uh, your brake mount. And then you're looking to feed these in. And that's effectively, loosen that one off a little bit, effectively sliding in relation to the rotor uh, as you move the wheel backwards. Next, pick up your wheel. There's like a little lip on the drop out here. And you, what you're doing is you're just literally popping the wheel into that little space like that there. And it just sits on that lip. So you just pop your axle through. You're not looking to tighten it up. This is the last, that's the last thing you do, tighten it up. But just to get your position right, give it a little jostle through and just effectively put it a couple of uh, couple of threads on next step is your chain there it is all baggy and loose all we're going to do now wind these little finger wheels look and this one as well it's nice you don't want it too stiff so you're looking obviously to try and sit it as straight and in line so then your next step is to tighten up the axle that's nice and tight these little bad boys is just to cap off the thread that you've got here. So yeah, so here's the spanner you need. So it's just an eight and you're just looking to basically nip them up. You're gonna put your caliper on. So make sure these top ones are nice and tight. So you might need to just do some little minor adjustments just to make sure it's all sitting in the right place. There you go. Love that noise. There we are. Okay, so, 